Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today we're going to be giving you a cool review, uh, especially for the holiday period, you guys are looking to shop to get a new sound system and today we will be reviewing the LG soundbar. This is the NB3520A. First of all, I want to thank LG for providing and giving us the soundbar to use and uh, test out. So uh, thank you for that. So you know this comes from LG, we didn't buy this ourselves. Um, but this is not a sponsored review in that sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. With the soundbar, it comes with a bunch of things. First off, you have the soundbar itself. This is the, uh, the main soundbar unit here. It gives you 2.1 uh, sound. Uh, you can see um, it's a single bar as I rotate it. Of course, it's got uh, speakers here on both sides. You do have controls in the front here, and I'm sure you can see that clearly. At the back of the soundbar, you have ports to connect. Uh, you have two optical ports and a lining jack. So you do have two optical and a lining jack to connect uh, two optical sources and a lining jack for your MP3 player if it doesn't have Bluetooth. Now, this is a Bluetooth capable soundbar. What that means is that you can connect this with your um, Bluetooth um, um, MP3 player, smartphone, whatever you have, but it's an iPhone, Android, or Windows, so any of those phones will work with that. You've also got a wireless subwoofer here. Now this is a 300 watt wireless subwoofer. What that means is that you don't have to directly link the soundbar and your subwoofer together with the wire. You can place it anywhere. So basically the soundbar goes right underneath your TV, or on the wall, or wherever you want to put it, and then the subwoofer can go behind the couch because it's a wireless subwoofer. So I'm, that's the setup we're going to have here. Now the other thing that uh, is in here to show you that it comes with, let's put this out there, you do have a wall mouth bracket that it comes with there. It comes with a standard LG remote control here, um, which gives you the ability to skip 3D surround sound, subwoofer levels, and things like that. It also comes with a cleaning cloth because, as you can see, this is uh, this is glossy black, so which means there'll be fingerprints on there. If, you know, people tend to touch it a lot, or it will get dusty, so you can actually clean your soundbar. So, what we're going to do is we're going to connect it. Um, you know, listen to some music, play some games on, it, and we'll give you guys our full thoughts on what we think about this. Now, in terms of retail price, it retails for right now you can get at two forty nine for Amazon. And uh, we'll see if this is worth picking up. It's Christmas season. You're thinking, okay, I need to upgrade my um, my sound system in the house. I don't want to get something too expensive, but I need some power. I need some sound. I need some good quality. So let's see if this actually fits in that range. And we say, is it worth buying? Is it something to get, especially now that it's uh, holiday season? So let's plug it in and check it out. All right, so let's take a look at our remote control for the uh, LG soundbar, the MB3520A. Uh, so the remote is a standard remote. You have your input selection here, which allows you to change between optical one and two, lining, uh, Bluetooth, and USB. Um, it has the optical button here. You can switch through folders. Um, also your volume button. You have your auto power, AV sync, info. And then this is skip through functionality, of course, depending on what device you have connected. Uh, if it's an LG device, yes, definitely. Now you have sound effects, which allow you to change the sound effects um, for your um, uh, for your uh, soundbar, so you can get like loudness, theater, things like that. Got 3D sound. You also got the woofer level, so you can change the the uh, power of the subwoofer level there. You've also got your numerical number pad, Dolby uh, uh, DCR, and sleep. Then you've got some um, other uh, multifunctional controls like mute, volume, uh, channel, and AV input, as well as the TV. This is our old TV button. So this is for the LG soundbar remote here. And uh, now let's look, take a look at our soundbar as we scootle up there. And we're just going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see. So right now, it says, if you can see that clearly, it says paired. Well, that means it's paired to a Bluetooth device. And we have it paired here to our Nokia Lumia 920. And if we actually unmute that, so we just hit the mute button and I can skip track from here and it's paired via Bluetooth. Which is which is interesting. Um, does, does a good job, plays well, sounds solid. 
Um, I'm just having to skip for some weird reason now, but and I can pause that. So you can see that's the sound of um, Bluetooth, right? It's paired. Now, if I have to change my inputs, um, so I'm just gonna zoom a little closer so you guys take a look. You see on the right here, I have an MP3 player plugged in. That's actually my Zune. And if I go into input, I go to portable. That. See, I'm getting something playing from that. And then optical one takes me back to the TV. So, uh, I have something plugged in my first optical uh, port. I'm just going to mute that again. So what you have here is, is a very simple system that you can actually just uh, place and plug in and use multiple things. So you just saw me switch from TV, uh, from Bluetooth uh, cell phone to TV to uh, portable. So the whole idea with the soundbar is that I can come back home. I have the soundbar there. I can easily um, switch to TV. If I have my portable device plugged in already, I, or I can just plug it in by, at the back. And um, if I want to say I was listening to music off my um, off my smartphone here, as you can see, I can basically uh, disconnect that via Bluetooth. And it's a very simple process. All you have to do is actually just search for Bluetooth, and you're good to go. Now, a couple other things to show you here. So uh, I'm going to head back to um, let's head back to optical. No, to um, uh, portable. So we have the portable here. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. It can change a couple of things. So I can go into, I'm going to show you here so you guys can see. Turn this down a little bit more. Um, if I hit the sound effects button, you can see it says loudness. It's getting a little closer there so you guys can get it. I can change that from loudness to natural, to bypass, to, to bass to clear voice and it changes game uh nighttime upscaler and back to loudness so it changes the 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 sound effects you're getting the different uh octaves and different uh sound effects that you want to get with your um sound bar which is also very nice i can also do 3d sound to submit a more um virtual sound which is also very nice and then finally i can do my subwoofer level so you can see the woofer level there i can increase that or bring it down, whichever way you want. So that's something to take note. And then I can turn on, turn my Dolby on and off. That's on. This is off, so I'm gonna leave it on. And you have this functionality with the soundbar, which is very nice. You can see also the controls in the front, which you can actually do that. It's very simple. You have your power, your volume up and down, play, pause, uh, stop as well as the F button, which is basically your uh, function button to change through the inputs and things like that. So it's a very solid soundbar. I like um, I like what I, I, I'm getting from it, uh, especially at the price range. Uh, we mentioned earlier, it's only two, uh, 249 off um, um, Amazon. I think it's very solid. The downsides I've noticed with the soundbar though is that uh, when you hit mute, especially when you're watching uh, TV, say through optical one or optical two, um, it doesn't stay muted for long. It stays muted for a certain amount of time. I haven't found a way to just change those kind of settings and it comes back up. Um, so the best thing is usually just to turn down the volume. And uh, you, once you bring it down to say like two or three, you really can't hear anything. Um, so if you're looking to say, uh, answer a phone call and mute it, it might kick back up. Um, uh, that is something that I just don't like. Hopefully, you know, they can fix either uh, in the next version of this. But this is a very solid soundbar. I like the functionality. I like what uh, they've done with it. I think um, LG has something here that um, I think a lot of people would definitely like and uh, appreciate. Um, so yeah, I say this is a very good buy. If you're looking for something, especially in the Christmas period, to to actually just add to your home and increase, you know, improve your sound system. You've got a new TV um, and you don't want to really set up a 5.1 surround system. As you can see, we actually have a uh, one of our 5.1 surround systems at the back there. Um, then I think this works out well for you. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Worker 2.0. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.